All right, guys, it's Brad here. Um, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, the 45 versus the 10 millimeter. A lot of people out there are talking about the ballistics and um, the feet per second, and that's where I kind of want to go with this. But first off, for home defense, a 9 millimeter works because most home intruders aren't going to be wearing bulletproof vests. I mean, maybe in some rare occasions, but even then, depending on what kind of body armor they're wearing, a 45 can be stopped by it. 9mm actually has um, about as much penetration as a 45. You just have a, a lot more knockdown power as a, in a 45. In some 9mm, you'll even have more penetration. But that's not the point. We're comparing the 10mm versus the 45. And uh, just some cell points. A reason I'm comparing, as you can tell, the Steel Jacket of Tula ammo versus the Remington 10mm um, ammo is because everybody's talking price points like 10 millimeters are so expensive and they're hard to find well go online or you know spe have them special ordered i mean it doesn't cost anything right my where i go to have stuff special ordered you just got to wait for it but this tool of ammo cost me about 16 dollars for a box of 50. these remington which is a a whole lot better quality cost me about 18 19 dollars per box of 50. So, I mean, price points aside, I mean, you might pay a dollar or two more for 50 rounds of the 10 millimeter, but uh, with everything being said, I mean, that's one or two dollars isn't that big of a deal when you're talking just one box at a time. Now, in bulk, I've seen them about the same price. So, moving on from there, ballistics. We'll say, we'll go with some federal premium. 165 grain, 45 ACP, 1,060 feet per second, 412 foot-pounds of energy, which is good. It's going to knock somebody down. But 150 grain nozzler for the 10 millimeter moves 1,470 feet per second, 725 foot-pounds of energy. Good comparison, good comparison. And both those ammo are about the same exact price. I think there might be about 20 cents that separate them. Now, here's another one. 185 grain, 45, bonded defense. 1,225 feet per second, 616 foot-pounds of energy. That's pretty impressive. That's going to put somebody on their butt. But, 10 millimeter with the 165 grain golden saber, 1,425 feet per second, 744 foot-pounds of energy. These are cheaper than the bonded defense. Um, as far as what I'm telling you right now, th this these are the diff are different. This is a Remington. This is a Tula. But as far as bonded defense versus the Golden Saber, the Golden Saber is actually about 56 cents cheaper. I have a price list here and stuff that I copied off the internet with ballistics. Um, and keep in mind. These ballistics are coming out of a four and a half inch barrel in the 10 millimeter versus a five inch barrel um, with the 45 ACP. So you're actually getting more from the 10 millimeter than what I'm telling you if you measured them in the same barrel. Now, with that being said, moving on, um, I've tested the ballistics myself. Um, you actually get more knockdown power, more penetration with the 10 millimeter as you do the 45. You don't get as much penetration or as knockdown power in the 10 millimeter. And what makes this great, I mean, if you compare them, it looks like there's a whole lot more ass in the 45 than in the 10 millimeter, but that's not the case. You can get 10 millimeter to weigh almost as much as your, your common 45 ACP. I have a list in here, let's see, 230 grain um, WFNGCs. 1,120 feet per second, 641 foot-pounds of energy in the 10 millimeter, 230 grain federal hydro shock, 900 feet per second, 400 feet or foot-pounds of energy. So you know, and the cool thing with the 10 millimeter is, is just a small comparison. Here I have a um, Beretta um, 9000 or uh, sorry Stoger. Sorry, I didn't break out the Beretta. They about the same. Thing because Stoger actually bought the patent for the Breda, um, I think they called it the Breda Cougar 9000, or I don't really know, but anyhow, this is the Stoger. Um, 
it only holds eight rounds. And most 45s, unless you buy a high cap, which you're talking $1,000 for like an FN. Um, and SIG ha makes a uh, high cap um, 1911, but still you're only talking 13 rounds and 15 rounds in the um, FN. But this Glock right here, and talking sell points, I mean, both these guns cost about the same, about 450 to $530, depending on where you go. But this one comes stock holding 15 10 millimeter, and I can get an extension that will hold two extra, so I can actually hold 17 10 millimeter rounds, and it has better ballistics than the 45, and this gun only being able to carry eight. So, I don't know why people want to, would like to try to compare the 45 to the 10 millimeter, because with that being said, a 10 millimeter is in a whole new ball game. You want to compare a 10 millimeter, you start comparing it to revolvers. Start comparing it to the 357. Um, and even with some loads, you can get up there to the 41 Magnum. Basically, a 10 millimeter is a auto revolver. Um, I love I love the 10 millimeter. It is my favorite cartridge as far as um, handguns are concerned. Now, a lot of people are like, well, what does this guy know? Uh, I don't know if you've looked at any of my other videos, but uh, um, we're in one of my rooms that have some guns in here, but I'll kind of pan this around, give you an idea. I mean, I know a little bit. And, I mean, that's quite a few. That's, I think there's about 17 or 18 in here, and then I have in my back room probably another 20, and then I have a gun case that has a few in there. I think I'm right at about 75 firearms right now, but anyhow, with that being said, um, if you're going to choose, choose a 10 millimeter over 45, unless you're a diehard 45 fan then go with the 45 you will find 45s more often than you'll find 10 millimeters i just prefer the 10 millimeter and if you want to wait you can order them online sorry to bore you with my long video but i just wanted to chalk some selling points as well i said that you can get both these guns for about the same price um that is true a lot of people argue that oh glocks uh glock 20 is going to cost six seven hundred dollars go online Gun brokers all day long, brand new. You can pick one of these up for about five nineteen. Um, this gun came from a shop locally, Woodberries, ran me right at about five hundred bucks. So I think that's gonna be it today. Um, I'll keep uh, videos coming and try to get a little bit better at this. Try to polish myself a little bit better. But thanks for watching. Bye.